I got something going on in my main breaker box. I've been smelling ozone and hearing a buzz and for a while I'd convinced myself it was the neighbors because we share this wall and now I've done a little bit of research and I'm not so convinced. Uh, I think I've got a bad breaker. I've called my friend who's an electrician and he's going to bring some stuff over but uh, let me show you what I did to determine that I think I've got a bad breaker. So what I've done is I've taken this piece of tubing and put one ear at one end near my ear and the other I put near each one of these breakers and the sound was coming from somewhere in here. I didn't have to do all of them. And uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that one of them is buzzing. So uh, that's not good. Now I do have some of these like uh, some of these specialized ones, these uh, circuit interrupters, GFIs or uh, ground fault circuit breaker types and they will buzz when they're in operation but mm, they have a different type of buzz and the buzzing sound was coming from in here so put the tube here and then I put the other end near my ear and just went over each one of these in this area so let me see if I can capture this with a camera the camera can pick it up and uh, you can see what I was doing so I'll put the tube near the microphone Again, stay a little bit longer. There's number 11, number 10, number 9. These are all around the master bathroom. 24, 25, listen over here. 26. Now, This was uh, with the uh, bathroom lights and everything turned off. Let me go turn on the lights and we'll go listen again. And this is with the bathroom lights and fans and so on on. Let's see if we can capture that sound. To me it sounds like number 11 is gone, but what's going to happen is my friend's going to come over, we're going to replace all these old breakers, and yeah, I don't recommend doing this, it's a DIY project, but uh, yeah, and with what my friend gets a price break on breakers and what he charges me, the difference is so small it's not worth me, uh, me messing with and just let an electrician, a pro, do it. Well, the story doesn't end like I thought. Uh, and this is why you hire a professional electrician. Let me show you. Can you see back in here? The wire was loose and arcing. So it wasn't a bad breaker. It was the wire had not been tightened by the last electrician. So being a really uh, good guy that this electrician is, he said, I'll just charge you for the loose wire. And I said, no, let's go ahead and replace them. So we got rid of all the 20 to 30 year old breakers and now we're up to date. Okay, well that was the twist and the tale. I uh, hope you found this useful and interesting in your home maintenance projects.